thing. I should know. My name is Paul, Dr. Nacho Goodman. I've been a dentist for 20 years. And Talking Nachos is dedicated to helping you increase success, decrease stress, and most of all, reduce the number of times you feel like crying inside a day. This represents how dentists feel on the inside part of their bodies when they're doing their dentist thing thing. When a patient says, why doesn't my insurance cover 33 veneers? And you want to say, we only have 32 teeth. You're a liar, but you can't say that. You say things like dental insurance is really difficult to deal with. So we are here to give you the tools you need to succeed on Talking Nachos. And before we get started, I want to share, we have an amazing event coming up that is totally free. Text Sunday to 215 543-6454. We're going to be talking about DSO or private practice. Which way should I go? He-Man or Skeletor? Who's He-Man? Who's Skeletor? We're going to find out on DSO or private practice. Which way should I go? Text Sunday to 215-543-6454 to join this amazing event at no cost to you. I'm ready for my first guests when they're ready to come up. So awesome. Thanks for being here and share with me who you are and what you do to help dentists cry less inside. Hey, Paul. Thanks for having me. My name is Steven. My company is Not a Payments, and we help dental practices eliminate the cost of accepting credit cards. And I, Steven, um, when you bring this idea to dentists, because we use in our office, are they usually like, cool, let's do it tomorrow? Do they have some objections? Oh, they have all the objections you can think of. What are some of the objections your clients had before they started with not a payments the number one objection is they feel like this would upset their patients and that's the first thing they think of when it comes to their practice they don't want to upset the balance between them and the patients and that would be the number one objection that they would have and i uh, know this well because my team when i said well i want to try not a payments they were not very cool with it at all Stephen. they did not want to do it but i said we're going to try it and see what happens And since that time, Kate, my amazing office manager, I was just there on Tuesday. And every time I'm there, I say, how's it going with not a payments? And they say, it's going great. Patients don't mind at all. So there's a funny TikTok meme thing, Stephen, where it says, am I the problem? And I want to tell the dental audience, you guys are the problem. We're the problem. The dentist and office manager and front desk, we're the problem. Now, just to break down the awesomeness of this, my office is making more money for doing nothing. So explain by we're using not a payment, Stephen. Every month we're making more money for doing nothing by using you. Share with my audience how that happens. Well, simply we provide the patients with an option to pay with a credit or debit card. And if they use a credit card, our software will automatically process a surcharge of 3%. So if they choose to use a credit card for the convenience, they will pay a 3% surcharge. And the dental office is no longer responsible for any credit card interchange fees or any rates that they would typically pay traditionally. Now, if the patient wants to avoid paying the surcharge, they absolutely can. All they have to do is use a debit card or a bank card, and they will not have a surcharge during that transaction. And I want to share, I wish I did this sooner. I mean, I wish I did this sooner. I wish I had the courage. I wish I knew you. Uh, Patients are totally fine with it. And one of the things, my secrets is, Stephen, I never asked someone to do something I wouldn't be willing to do myself. So the other day I was out to dinner after my daughter's basketball and the restaurant had a surcharge and I used my credit card. And at first I was like, oh man, I got to pay an extra seven bucks. But then I said, you know what? They're small business owners and I could pay cash if I want to. So patients and people, I think, are understanding this and you're helping our audience do that. Now, I want people to JFO, just find out and move forward with you. You're helping Dental Nachos, Dennis, right now. When people text NADA to 215-543-6454 to do a demo, how does that work? So they essentially schedule a demo with us. I will show them our solution, how it integrates into their dental software, how it is presented to the patient, and what are the cool features that we have, such as text to pay, cards on file, automatic payment plans. So not only do we save you on those credit card fees, but we also provide a full A to Z solution that will help you collect payments from many different avenues. Awesome. Well, thanks for supporting us, Stephen. You're awesome. Can't wait to see you at our next event and have an awesome rest of the day. Thank you so much, Paul. Appreciate it. As you guys can see, just in five minutes, you will learn how you can make your EBITDA better. This is all I care about, biceps and EBITDA. Make your EBITDA better, profit better for doing absolutely nothing. I'm ready for my next guest and my team is ready. Uh, Share with us. Thanks for being here with us. What you do, who you are, and how you help Dennis cry less inside. 
Hey, Paul. Uh, my name is Ryan Minacho. I'm the director of marketing here at Fire Gang. We are a dental marketing company that helps dentists attract and schedule more profitable new patients through a fully integrated approach to marketing. Love that. And I was just seeing, actually, I had signed up to watch next week. You guys have a webinar coming up. And let's just stay with this new patient theme because I've been a dentist uh, since 2002. We track new patient numbers. We're always trying to drive them up. We're wondering, are we doing the right thing? Are we spending too much on external marketing? Not enough on Google ads, not enough on ground marketing. Tell us about your commitment to helping dentists with new patients and what they can do to get that number higher. Yeah, when it comes to trying to get that number higher, what we really think about is, okay, we want it to be higher, but it also needs to be the right types of new patients, yeah. right? There's every different dental practice is gonna want a different type of new patient generally. And we really want to hone on that. But what I find is the most critical component of this is kind of what I said earlier is having an integrated approach, meaning you've got your marketing all done under one roof. I see a lot of different dentists out there that are doing what we call a duct tape marketing system where they are purchase their website through one company. Then they have got another company that's running their Google ads. And then they've got another company that's running their social and so on and so forth. And when things don't work, all the individual companies say, well, my system's working great. And so everyone's losing except for, you know, me, the dentist. Yeah. So when it's about growing and you're doing it the most profitably, the most consistently, the most um, consistently over time, we really want to use something that's integrated. And so that's why we offer that to the clients that we work with. Awesome. When people text Fire Gang to 215-543-6454, how does it work? Do they do a webinar with your team? Do they fill out a survey? Do you guys do an analysis of their practice website? How can our Dental Nachos audience start working together with you? Yeah, so there's two different ways. If you text in, you can also go to firegang.com slash nachos, and we'll give you a free copy of our book. Oh, nice. This is actually uh, hot off the press. It's brand new. We just published it two weeks ago. It's an expanded edition of our extremely popular book called Practice Growth. We published that one about three years ago. It's had thousands of orders from dentists all across North America. So we just expanded it with some great new content, updated a bunch of things for 2024. So inside, you're going to learn everything you need to know about today's dental landscape and what it really, what you really need to do to succeed with marketing, to grow your practice, to attract new patients. We cover a lot of different aspects, but really the critical ones are how to be different, how to show up more and how to really convert every new patient opportunity into revenue within your practice. So that's a great way to learn about our approach to marketing. And if it would work for you, alternatively, what you can do is you can just have a conversation with us. You can schedule what we call a marketing assessment and we'll dive in. We'll spend 45 minutes with you on a call and look at what are you doing now, where there's some areas for opportunity and see what might some best next steps be. And one of the things I, I love what you share there, marketing is the magic you use to do what you enjoy, help people chew and smile with confidence. And it's sad to me ashamed to me, irresponsible to me that dental schools don't talk about how important marketing is because you cannot prepare a crown, you cannot place an implant, you cannot transform someone's life unless a patient comes to your office. So I thank you for supporting our community and being committed to helping get the right new patient in the door. Thanks so much, Ryan. Thanks, Paul. Awesome, guys. So you guys can see already, we help figure out how to reduce your credit card fees, the magic of marketing to bring you the patience you need to succeed. I'm ready for my next guest and my team is ready. Awesome. Uh, what up, Paul? We've got a, <laughs> we got a du duo here, two, yeah. I like that. Two, uh, a double header. So share with us, what do you guys do? You get up every day and you want to help Dennis cry less inside. You want to yeah. help avoid this feeling, which we have to keep inside. Remember the operation game as a kid? Our, our games were not too advanced as a kid, right? My five year old playing these when you had to pick out the little wrench in someone. The guy had swallowed a wrench. It was an interesting thing. You had to pick it out. So if you were to remove this from Dennis's body, what do you guys do to make that happen? <laughs> well, I don't want to touch anybody's bodies, but Paul, <laughs> we help <laughs> practices cry less or Dennis cry less by <laughs> helping them reduce dependence on PPOs via a, a patient membership program. Now, tell me this, because you guys have put a lot of great content into the space, either one of you. Where, why do you see dentists so dependent on PPO? How did this happen? Your, your observers from outside the space, yeah. offices are coming to you with this cry inside. Before you tell us how you remove the pain, where do you guys think yeah. the pain comes from? Well, I think it comes from not being educated on marketing, right? A lot of practice owners don't know how to market themselves in the, in the industry, so they've relied on PPOs, and it's just kind of compounded over time and now PPOs have have taken control over the market so it all goes back to 
not learning marketing and business strategy um, from my perspective. Bentley, I don't know what if you have a thought on that. <laughs> yeah. Tell me from the healthcare side in a previous life. I, I'd also say that insurance brokers have made it easy for, for patients to jump on through their employers with a PPO. Uh, they don't have to feel the pain points, reimbursement, and all the, all the fun things that we deal with on the practice side. Uh, but they can tie it in with our healthcare benefits and things like that. So they've done a good job on that side being convenient and, and being accessible to patients. And so it's, it's made it easy for us to allow them into our industry and, and put a stranglehold on a good portion of our patient population where we don't need to have that anymore. And that's what Boom Cloud does. Really great, helps great answer. So many people say in life that they have no regrets. And I call those people liars because I have many regrets. In college, I had a George Clooney haircut. My mom said it was stupid. Looking back, it was stupid. I regret that. <laughs> the second thing I regret is, even though I was one of the original people on Dental Town, and even though I was one of the original dentists on these message boards, I really regret not implementing a membership club into my practice sooner. In the early, early days, QDP, I remember that. I saw it yeah, on the yeah. board. And I wish I did this sooner. It's a huge regret of mine. So tell us what Boom Cloud and membership clubs do to fix this pain, relieve this pain. Yeah. So so Boom Cloud helps a practice streamline creating and scaling their their patient membership program. So we we help them create their plans. We have some um, plan formulas that we use based off of where a practice may be located. We help them create. We help them track all the recurring revenue that they're going to generate whether it's monthly or yearly uh, recurring revenue from their membership plan. And then we help manage the, the, all the active members so they can see like if, if credit cards are declining or if, if what type of usage they're using when they join the membership program, we track all that. And then we help the team, um, we help the practice owner create a rewards program to reward their team by, by signing up more patients than member, membership program. So the team's excited to uh, win as well. So it's a win-win-win strategy with the, the patients, the practice, and, and the team members. I, I love so, doing something, Bentley, a second, because as a dentist, yeah. one of the frustrating things, when you have to pre-authorize a crown, you basically have to ask permission from Spoil Guac PPR, like, please, can I do this crown? <laughs> when you have a membership club, you're just like Tyler Durden from Fight Club. You're like, uh, Delph, should we do this crown? It's like, yep, we should do this yeah, crown. let's go. So I, yeah. I think it unleashes a lot of awesomeness in the patient relationship. Bentley, I really want you to talk about and tell our audience what they want. To, I want you to talk to the office that's never used a membership club. They pop, they see this and they say, we should do this. And we've never used someone else. How, when they text boom cloud to two, one, five, five, four, three, six, four, five, four, just give them a preview of how you and your team get them started to this success. Absolutely. So we do it in a three-step approach. We we first we onboard you. We we work with you on the demographics of your your territory where your practice is located to set up the right pricing model and services that work for your business and also work for your patient population. Once we've got that onboarding and, and stuff set up, we launch it on your website. We get everything running so that you can now market your membership plan to your patient population. And then our RGMs, our revenue growth managers, work alongside you and your team to help build membership uh, uh, acceptance and signups with your current patient population, as well as help you initiate campaigns and strategies to go find new patients that maybe don't have dental insurance that are looking for a solution uh, uh, that you offer within your practice. And so then we and we continue to nurture and it's rinse and repeat and we just keep going and going. We've seen practices excel to upwards of a million dollars a year in reoccurring revenue on top of the three to four X in in uh, purchase power that the patients then bring to the table with uh, services and stuff that they offer. I love it. Well, you guys are doing amazing things for our community. Uh, people can text Boom Cloud at 215-543-6454. Jordan, if you finish this up, I see you, you share a lot of content and education in the Dental Nachos group. Can they follow your blog or I see you wrote written articles? How can they find out more if they want to start reading more about this? Yeah, just go to boomcloudapps.com. And we've got, yeah, a ton of articles that we're writing. We've got webinars that are recorded and live webinars that we produce. We have ebooks that you can download that, that talk about strategies and tactics to use to scale a, a million dollar membership program, if that's what you're after, which I, I can't imagine why you wouldn't be, but we have a ton of content that you can consume. And then if you want to schedule a demo, go to boomcloudapps.com. You can click schedule demo and talk with one of our 
consultants that will help you uh, and look at your practice in regards to the opportunity to. Well, I will share you guys like marketing. You can use this with my face. You are not only missing out on money, but you're uh, really missing out on your improving your morale by not embracing membership clubs. Because not everything is about dollars. The end part is it's just really nice when you have a relationship that spoiled guac PPO is not involved. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great thanks, rest. Dude. Thank yeah, you, we'll guys. see you. <laughs> so we're learning so much here that they do not teach you in dental school. I am ready for my next guest. We're going to bring them up. Awesome. Well, share with us, thanks for being here, what you do to and who you are and how you help dentists cry less inside. Okay. Well, I am Annette Woods. I'm the owner of Bookkeeping Aesthetics. And how we help a dentist is we help them have current, accurate financials, um, and we help them have clarity on those so they can build their roadmap to success. I love um, that. And, and, and you uh, have a dental background, so you know what it's like to be in the dental office. People can text bookkeeping to 215-543-6454 to learn more about you. I want to ask you what you do, but I, I, something struck me that, you know, dentists and all of us, no one's ever said, I am so excited to go home and do my own bookkeeping, right? No one's ever said, Correct. after a day of having people tell me that they hate me, not <laughs> opening wide enough, which you know, right? You say to a patient, could you open? They open this far. Like, you know how words work? Now you're shouting at a 50-year-old, open like an alligator. No one wants to get out their desktop or laptop and start doing bookkeeping. So just talk to us a minute in Evergreen Way of the dangers of do-it-yourself bookkeeping versus outsourcing it, partnering with a professional like you. Well, absolutely. And, you know, one of the biggest things I hear from dentists is I just don't understand my financials. Um, they're speaking Greek and, you know, dentists do speak a different language. So yeah. we like to speak the dental language and we like to put it in a format that they can understand and we can take all that time off their hands so they can make decisions on accurate information and not spend all that time trying to figure it out. Also, we have a lot of internal controls. We work with your practice management software to make sure what is being deposited in the bank is the same thing your practice management says is being deposited in the bank. So we bring all of that in so you can truly see the health of your business. And again, we speak your language and make it understandable. And that, I mean, you know, a huge moment in our lives to have practice owners well before, you know, any dental notches times was just where we said, you know, we are going to get help with bookkeeping. We're not going to try, you know, my amazing dad, you know, where I worked with 11 years, he would have this laptop out. And I was like, I think you kind of don't know what you're doing. He's like, I can figure it out. And then when we outsourced early on before all this, it was key. And one of the things to make dentists maybe feel better, Annette, you know, I have dental nachos, dentist job connect and two dental offices, four businesses that I am an owner of. And the dental office PL, it's like wildly complex to me. We have so many vendors, so many things. So maybe make dentists feel better. Is it normal to feel the stress of having so many vendors and categories? Because, you know, dentists always blame themselves for stuff. As someone who does this, is it normal for them to feel a little overwhelmed? Well, if your chart of accounts or account is set up that way, yes, you are going to be overwhelmed. It's knowing where to put things and set it in a format that you can look at it and say, oh, this is what's going on. You can look at a section and say, oh, this is what it costs me to be in the building. This yeah. is the section for my office supplies. Um, this is what my payroll is, my hygienist versus my assistants. But it's all clear and more compact because you can drill down on your vendors in another way. You want to see something in, in front of you that makes sense and it's easy to make those decisions. And you should be looking at them every month and actually be looking forward to looking at them because you understand. Because if you're not looking every month, you're leaving money on the table of where you could have improved or saved money or had room for growth. But I love that. I mean, it's just something, again, this theme might be what do I wish I did earlier in my career? And paying attention to numbers is what something I wish I did earlier. When people text bookkeeping to 215-543-6454, how does it work to start working with you? Do they do a consult, a phone call? Do they send you data? Tell our audience that. Well, they can either do a consult or a phone call just to kind of see if maybe we're a right fit. And, and then after, if we think we might want to work together, I will take a look at the accounting. I'll take awesome. a look at the books and we'll do a deep dive and we'll do a diagnostic review and give um, 
ideas of how you can improve your books. Even if you don't hire us, you should come away with a lot. Of I actually money. love that. I always say, do these JFO, just find out consults. You always learn something you want to do more of, something you want to do less of. It's not always this moment where you start working together with these advisors, but at least you know these people exist. So I love you sharing with us. You also share so much fun on the group. I appreciate that. So thanks so much for supporting us in that. Well, thank you, Dr. Goodman. So as you guys can see, there's so many things that dentists have to think about. If you're a dental student that just happened on this, keep watching. Watch what happened before. These are all people as a practice owner I am connecting with on a daily basis. So running a dental circus, I mean practice, I mean circus, where the animals don't try to eat you, just slowly annoy you to death. If you do not figure that out, you are going to feel like this person inside. I'm ready for my next guest when my team is ready. Awesome. So I know this guest very well, and thanks for being here, but share with us who you are and what you do to help dentists reduce crying inside. Sure. Great to see you, Paul. My name is Mike Sula. I work with Studio 88. We are dentistry's story-driven marketing agency. So our unique approach is we first really get to know the story of the practice, the story of the doctor, and then we build that out in the digital space to just show that true authentic image of who you are, separate you and differentiate you from your competition. Awesome, Mike. And before I talk about this, I want to remind people of the power of ABC, always be connecting. Because pre-pandemic, that was a time, I one time flew to San Jose all by myself to give a lecture on a Sunday all by myself. And I met Mike Sula and we had nachos together that evening. And Mike has been an amazing friend since then. So it just encourages people, get your face out there. Reps are people too. Dennis are people too. We're all attached to this weird community. So I don't know if you remember that time, Mike. But oh, yeah. Uh, Absolutely. I remember like yesterday. I remember the yeah. drinks we had. It was, yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone connects off over uh, nachos. So yeah, was, nachos, uh, yeah, meant uh, to be shared. I like that. So <laughs> tell us, you know, you're, you recently had Dr. Tahira in our group who came to our Super Dentist Boost Camp for practice owners. And you probably sense this, you know, it's overwhelming to be a new practice owner. Sometimes you've got a website from the past. Sometimes you've got no website. Tell us how you transformed to here. I mean, she said that nice comment last night. Boost camp was great. Glad I met Mike. So to keep in this ABC way, but also how Studio it helps. Tell us about that. Absolutely. To hear it, she she was overtaken. She acquired this practice that was a bit outdated, and she wanted to kind of put her own fresh spin on it to show where the practice is going for the next 20, 30 years and make it her own. So uh, we went through a full identity branding discovery process with her of understanding her values, what was different about her and the practice and the experience that she wants to create, and um, kind of went through a whole Pinterest board activity where we asked colors, looks, fonts, styles, and we were able to really hone on in uh, a brand that she loved to move forward with. So we did an entire facelift, came in, did a uh, custom photography session to really capture her team and her message. And honestly, um, the finished result is is terrific. I encourage everyone to check it out. But I will tell you this, Paul, more people today. So new patients is one thing that marketing can drive. But another thing that I would say practices don't really consider is being able to attract top talent, yeah. hygienists, team members, assistants. I know that was the reason why um, you wanted to work with us at Pennington with your Pennington practice was to really drive that home. And uh, we, we just love seeing that come to fruition. Let's show off how awesome you are. Let's show off that culture that you have. Let's put that on the front end. Let's connect digitally and, and set you off to the races. I love that, Mike. We've been playing this game. You made me think of it when you said this. So we've been playing this game at our family table. Anyone do it? And it's, my daughters love it. We say, which food would you kick off your menu forever, right? You cannot have this more. Some are tough. Like, Cheese or chocolate, right? We have to think like, and you have to say no more chocolate. The reason I'm saying this is if you said to a dentist, you could lose 10 patients or one dental assistant in this game, see you 10 patients, bye, right? And I don't say yeah. that cavalierly. What I say is your point is that you want your website to reflect not only all the awesomeness of the care, but also your culture. And you've probably noticed this, uh, dental assistants, hygienists, front desk team members, they're in high demand. And they have the pick of where they want to be. So this, the second anyone, you know, even, even, you know, Brandon Hill from my team, people mm -hmm. go on your website. When you can work for Dental Nachos, you look at the website. What's the website show? What's it look like? So I think that that point is so key. And that's one of the reasons I want to do that for our Pennington website. Absolutely. And we'll see also, just to further that point, um, unfortunately, there's this, been this thing in dental marketing that existed that makes every single dental practice look the same. And whether it was working off templates, stock photos, 
um, things that didn't represent the practice. If a patient comes to your website or a team member comes in, it's like, I've seen this website before. They're automatically subconsciously switching you off. So we, yeah. just, we want to make sure that's completely apparent that you are unique, that true, authentic identity is out there right away. Awesome, Mike. Well, thanks so much for all that you do. Love what you do with our site and helping our community. People can text SAEA to 215-543-6454 to learn more. And I know I'll see you in an upcoming event in just a couple of weeks here. Looking forward to it, Paul. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. So everyone go in the chat and say, if you had to pick no more, would you pick cheese or chocolate? Which one would you kick off your menu of life? Would you never have chocolate again? Would you never have cheese again? What is your answer? You have to pick one. So I'm ready for my next guest when they're ready to come up here. Awesome. Well, I know our guest very well, but I want uh, him to share what do you do, who you are, and how do you help Dennis cry less inside? You might still be muted there, Jamie. No worries. People just do the cheese or chocolate answer while we're waiting for you. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> thanks for having me on. Sorry. Oh, my, uh, my name is Jamie Beese. I'm the uh, owner and chief strategist at Day One. We are a digital marketing agency helping our dental clients grow their practices with more of their ideal patients. And we do this through creating a comprehensive marketing plan that's personalized just for their practice. I love that. And, you know, one of the things that struck me, especially since you're so awesome, is it, we've heard from two of your collaborators so far. If I was on a show with Dennis and there was a few dentists on the show, I wouldn't say these are my competitors. These are people, my colleagues in the space. And we've mm -hmm. talked about new patients and we've talked about how websites need to reflect your awesomeness. One thing I want to ask you is you've been helping like Dr. Maggie Augustine with her awesomeness, but it's more than just her as a dentist. And what I think would be really unique to learn about is dentists are more than just inside the operatory. And even though you help people inside the operatory, like Dr. Matt Bickle, our own personal practices you help with Jeff Goodman, tell us a little bit how you kind of showcased her story as more than just her dental being a dentist. Sure. We, um, well, first of all, whenever we work with a practice and particularly the dentist, as much as possible, we, we want to be part of that practice. We want to be a, a true partner. And in order to do that, there has to be a right fit between us and that practice. Some practices don't let us in any more than just basic information. But Dr. Maggie is an exception. She is a friend and uh, she has allowed us to get to know her uh, on a very personal level, which only allows us to be able to communicate her story that much better. And so the website that we built for her really is designed to not just tell her story, but to convince people that are visiting that site about her awesomeness and about how much she loves communicating her story in the way to be able to help other people. And so for us, it's, it's, a, it's a, really, it's a labor of love. In fact, many times I wrote to her, or we talked and I messaged her and things like that. And I said, I want you to have a website that you love. Until you love it, it's not done. And that, that was a passion project in a sense, I love that. just to make sure that it was something she could go out there and represented her uh, wherever she went with her speaking engagements or all of all of the things that she's involved in. Awesome. My team will share that in the chat later. Now, just from a fundamental tip, I'd like to extract from you, dental pun intended, Jamie. You've helped our audience learn about when they acquire a practice, right? They acquire this older practice. Maybe I'll try to use some of your language. I don't see you using my language, distal, mesial. You should start, Jamie. You know, I'll start to use some marketing language, digital footprint, right? So tell us, yes. give our audience just like, you know, you just bought a practice, you're kind of overwhelmed, but you're proud of it. You know, you hire someone like you and you have to dig into their digital footprint and see, do they need a new website? Do they need SEO? Do they need this? Just give us a little insight into that for someone who just acquired a practice. Sure. Uh, uh, the scenario you've just described is very common. Uh, in fact, uh, the main part of what we do whenever we work with practices that have just recently been acquired is we have to do a very deep analysis on so many things related to, as, as you said, digital footprint. Uh, oftentimes that new practice owner has limited or in some cases no information yeah. about the digital yeah. footprint. That's not what they're focused on. They're focused on uh, you know, closing the deal. They're focused on patients. They're focused on HR issues, focused on getting new equipment. And so this is oftentimes not a huge priority for them. So we take on that responsibility. In fact, much of what we do in the very beginning is work down a very extensive checklist uh, to help the dentist gather yeah. the content, gather the information, and then doing the research to see if a previous digital footprint is something that we want to build upon 
or if it's something that we want to jettison and start all over. And so it's a pretty detailed process for us to get involved in, but it's essential to help set up that new practice owner for future success. Yeah. Love that, Jamie. And that's just why we do all this, to make people aware and prepared in helping them in the biggest decision of their lives. Well, people can text day one to 215-543-6454. And how does that work, Jamie? Do they get on a call with you? Do you guys do a Zoom? Tell our audience how they can start working with you. So once you schedule a, a time with us, you'll actually be speaking with me. It's either a Zoom meeting or a phone call, what's ever easier for the, for the doctor. Uh, by the time we have that conversation, we will have done a, uh, an analysis of your digital footprint. It's not a deep dive, but it's an analysis enough for us to have an idea of areas where we can work with that practice on improving. But it's also a time for us to get to know that practice owner and understand what their goals are and the best way that we can partner with them. Absolutely love that, Jamie. Well, thanks for helping us grow our community and be an awesome partner. We truly appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks, Paul. So as you guys see in this fun sitcom length show, 30 minutes, you learn so much value. Please take the time right now to text Sunday to 215-543-6454. We're going to be talking about DSO or private practice, which way to go. I'm going to be interviewing people to help you buy your first dental practice, scale dental practices, figure out how to exit. Do you want to grow it yourself? Do you want to partner with a DSO? We're going to share so much amazing information and it is totally free to join us. Thank you so much for being here.